I really like this question from the Oxford Math Admission Test in 2021 because you'll see not only we have to know how to do the integral but also we have to know our factoring and solving equations really well. Check this out. We are going to find the positive a value so that the integral going from 0 to a of square root of x plus x squared is equal to 5. So the way to do this kind of question is just go and integrate this and then plugging a and plugging zero and then we will get an equation and we'll try to see how to solve that equation. So here we go. Integrating square root of x. Well, we can look at this as x to the one half power. So we are going to add one to the power which is going to give us x to the three half and then divide it by the new power so we will have two thirds. Okay, and then we continue, integrate this, of course, just one third x to the third power, done. And then we have to plug in, right, zero and also a, and we have to make this equal to five. So plugging a, we will get two third a to the three over two power plus one over three a to the third power. This is the first part. And we have to subtract, plugging 0, but we're pretty lucky because they will just give us 0. And then of course, this is equal to 5. So now, this is like a crazy cubic and also like a fractional power equation. Like, how do we solve that? So that's why I like this a lot. Because this is actually solvable by some factoring. Let me show you. I'm going to put this down right here first, right? So we have 1 third a to the third power. And then we have that, which is plus 2 over 3x, sorry, a, no more x, a, and then to the 3 over 2 power. And then let me put the 5 to the other side. So we have the minus 5 here. This is equal to 0. Are you guys ready? Okay, cool. In fact, this is a quadratic equation in terms of a to the... 3 over 2 power. What do I mean? Well, let me show you. Okay, whenever you have an equation in terms of a quadratic form, you can always try to try to do it by factoring because if it's factorable, you are done. If not, then use the quadratic formula. So let me show you. We can actually factor this. Here we have 1 third. So I'm just going to say 1 third times 1 is 1 third. Okay, I think that's fair enough. Okay. And as I told you, this is a quadratic equation in terms of a to the 3 over 2 power because for the a to the 3rd power, we can look at that as a to the 3 over 2 and then square. Aha! Right? Quadratic. So that means I will just look at this as a to the 3 over 2 and then a to the 3 over 2. So this times that will give us this. Great. Now, what times 4 will give us negative 5? Well, we have... 1 and negative 5 or all that stuff, right? Factoring all that stuff. I will just tell you guys the correct combination because I assume you guys don't know how to factor this. I will just put down the 5 in here and then the 1 in here, but we have to make the 1 negative. This is why. Check this out. This is how we check the answer. I will just do this times that. 5 times 1 third, right? We have the 5 over 3 and then we have this. a to the 3 over 2 power. Next, we have negative 1 times that, which is just negative a to the 3 over 2. Combine this and that together, 5 over 3 minus 1, we do get a 2 over 3. So that means we got our correct combination. Here is how we do the factoring though. Read this across. So we have 1 third a to the 3 over 2 minus 1 times this, which is a to the 3 over 2, and then plus 5. And that's equal to 0. Keep in mind, we just want the positive a, so this is the one that we want because this right here will give us 1 third a to the 3 over 2 and then that will give us equal to 1. So a will be positive. We don't want this part right here, alright? And now we can just multiply both sides by 3 and then do the usual business. We see a is equal to 3 and then do the reciprocal power, so we get 2 over 3 power and that's the positive a value, the other one's negative. Um, if you have a negative a, if you put it right here, the result will be negative 5 for the integral, right? So yeah, that's the reason why we just want the positive a. So you see how crazy this is, huh? 
This looks like unstoppable, but you just have to think about this a little bit. It shouldn't be that hard. Then you shouldn't be using the Lambert W function. You shouldn't be using like a calculator. Um, yeah. So it looks scary, but it works out so nicely. That's why I like it so much. If you want to see similar videos, check out my other videos over there. That's it.